all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Boxing World Weekly, speaking with Canadian prospect Adrian Prembridge. Last time we spoke was after your pro debut and a pro win at that. Talk me through that experience again. Um, it was a dream come true, man. Um, I've sparred Kane countless amount of times, and I told him that one day I'll be on his card. And to be able to be on his card at that time so quickly is just a dream come true, man. And to get a stoppage in that, I, it was so emotional for me. But the other fights were good. They're all, they really taught me a lot of stuff in the other fights because they were more technical, they had more time. But it was a, it was a great experience. For, for the jump, it was, my coach taught me more pro style than he did amateur style. So the transition was pretty easy. Um, we was gonna wait and not turn pro yet, but COVID messed that all up and we had to like really, the, the opportunity came and we just took it. We f went in there, got the job done, came out, went right back to work. There's no day offs, there's no time offs. It's just constant improvement, especially since I started so late in boxing. I don't have time to really sit back and be like, oh, that was cool. Now we're just back to work, get sharper smarter, walk quick, better. My, um, we're just gonna wait and eventually go either national or provincial, because we already know, both me and my coach know that I'm able to beat all of these top guys in the amateurs. But um, COVID happened and we didn't seem like they were gonna open anytime soon. And then the opportunity to turn pro came, so we said, you know what, let's take that instead. My, my coach is a man with a plan. I'm, I'm just the guy that I put in the work in the gym. Whenever he says, hey, we have a fight here, Omar is ready to go. So it doesn't matter how many fights, but we're going to get a lot in and people are going to see a lot, a different style. Um, right now we're looking at March 13th, hopefully, but um, we'll know more in the next coming week. But March 13th is the day. You would think I'm living in a dream, the, the way things are going. Being able to fight on Kane's card now, I'm on Samuel Vargas, the guy that's been in with all the top guys. Sparring him, he taught me a lot. Um, he is more, he's more like more technical. He knows how to put his punches together. He shows me all of his little tricks. So it's going to be a different sparring, different um, fight coming March 13th. He's, He's, Sparring Sam is a great, great opportunity. He's a great guy, and I just love being around him. He loses, makes me more. He, right now we're both, he's getting in shape, so now I have to get back, like really in shape, in shape, to be able to keep up with him, but man, his body works are very vicious, and I feel sorry for whoever he gets in the ring with. <laughs> but he's a great guy, and, um, we have more sparring to go, so he's coming in at 11, and we're gonna get more work in, so. My family opinion, my family is more of a, you have to go to school, get an education, and that's how you end up being successful. But I was more of a athlete, I was more into sports, I was never really into school that much, but I did it, so they can be like, okay, you finished school, and in Canada, you have to finish grade 12 high school to be able to work or any of that. So I ended up finishing. But right now, they're all behind me. They all have, they support me to everything. Even my girlfriend supports me to everything. And we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna take the name to the top. The Garrick family is gonna be at the top. I, when I first told them, they were like, why? Why not soccer? Why not something? where you're not getting punched in the head. I told him, it's because I'm great at it. It's something that I love. It's something that I put a lot of time into and I just need you guys to have my back and they really do have my back. They support me through the whole thing. The amateurs don't know. My mom is a person that she, anything I do, she'll support me through it. She comes to me. You guys were there at the fight. She's loud. She, she will always cheer for me. She'll always be there. She's gonna be at 
the fight March 13th, who you guys gonna hear a lot? She is. She, my family is just really supportive of everything I do. Yeah, he tells me I need to stay calm. Just, you know how good you are. You can be better. Just keep pushing yourself, and you'll be at the top in no time. If she yeah. wants to get in there, then I'll support her. I don't know if my mom will, but <laughs> she's a little, she's my little girl, you know. But anything that my family does, I'll have their back 100% with it. I even said about my daughter, if she wants to end up in the sport, she can also come. She can also do it. I'll support her. If they want to do something else, then I'll support them in that. It doesn't matter what they do, but I'll support them. You mentioned your girlfriend supports you as well. Was she at the last fight? Yeah, she yeah. is there, but she's more of the shy, shy person. She won't, she won't be all up in, in the spotlight, but she was there. And what about like what do these people go through, you know, before the fight? Like, do they ever talk to you about what's going through their heads? Like, does your girlfriend ever talk to you about what's going through her head before fight night? No, she tries staying as calm as possible. She she knows that if she gets riled up, then I'll get riled up. So she stays calm and we just talk. She just says, go in there, do your thing, and we'll go home. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so you said you would support your sister or your daughter if they wanted to, yeah. if they wanted to box. Would you be able to train them? I train them? I, I don't have that kind of experience, but my coach, I told him that, hey, you have two world champs coming your way, so if they end up doing it, he's like, I'll be right here, but if not, then he says, it's good. And what if your dad had more experience? Like, what if he was his own amateur, had his own, you know, little pro career, and he wanted to train you? Could you train under someone of your family? Um, I could train under them, but it will be if Billy is okay with it. Like, if my coach is okay with it, then be like, hey, you guys work together and we can take this to the next level. Like, that's how I am. How much does it mean having their support? You know, this they could have easily gone the other way. They could have easily said that they weren't going to support this and you kind of had to figure it out on your own. How much does it mean to you that they went the way they did? It makes me know that if anything happens, they have my back. So with that saying that it's just good to have family that really supports you and make sure that you're okay and then having them come to the fights also makes gives me more confidence to get in there. And what if they didn't? Would that have changed your opinions on? It won't change my opinions. I'll still go in there and do what I have to because boxing is not a sport where you just go in there one foot in, one foot out. You can get really hurt in a sport so you have to be focused at all times. So I'll go in there and do the same thing if they were there or if they're not. So what if it was way back when, when you told them they wanted to be a pro boxer and they told you you didn't support it, do you think that would have changed? You know, no, no, I'll still, still do it. I'll still be me, I'll still... The thing with me, I'll, I won't try to change who I am for nobody. It doesn't matter if we're family, it doesn't matter if we're friends. If it's something that I love, it's either you adapt to it and love it with me or you stay far and I'll do it myself. As long as I have my coach in my corner, I'm okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. And uh, just a couple final questions off topic. What do you think about the rise in women's boxing? You're a boxing fan yourself. You're not just you're not just here, you know, going through your own career. You are following yeah. the sport at to a T. So, what do you think about the rise in women's boxing? It's about time. You know, females they're doing the same thing that we're doing. They're putting the same type of work we're doing. They should get their shine, right? Three minutes, it gets long in there. <laughs> Trust me, the two minutes is kind of short, but if they want to do three minutes, then you should allow them, right? Yeah. If we're able to do it, then they should be able to do it. I'm a big fan of Katie Taylor. She, she really shows that she knows how to move and all of that. She knows how to work the time. She knows how to do all of that. So if she keeps doing that, then eventually they're gonna have to listen. And the females, they have to come together. You can't do it one person. Everyone has to come together. Uh, and then my final question is you give the final message to uh, the fans before your next fight. Uh, if you don't get your tickets, you better get them because March 13, I'll definitely be making a statement. 
Last time you guys see me fought, I was very emotional. I got rid of that. Cobwebs are off. It's time to show my true potential. So I hope to see you guys March 13th.